So he's infested into those siege tanks now. So what's my thinking? My thinking is this. Starports. Banshees and Vikings. He's obviously got himself a starport as well because he's thinking along the same line that something's going to be coming up. But the first unit he should have made should have been a Viking. But then again, he would have really only made that if he scouted. So he needed to scout. But as we can see, I've got the slight advantage here because I've got a couple of Banshees versus his one. So he's going to be taking out my Marauders. But Marauders have so much HP, they can take quite a lot of hits before those Banshees uh, kill them. So uh, that's uh, fine. I'll just waste some of his time, really. So whilst he's doing that, I'm going to be sending my Banshees down here behind the mineral line because I know he's got basically nothing to defend against. He's making another Banshee. This was definitely his mistake. If you were ever in the same situation, don't make Banshees if you see me going Banshees. Make freaking Vikings because I am going to be making Vikings as we can see. I also want to be building another starport which is going to be putting a reactor lab down there. That means that I'll be able to get double lots of Vikings from that one starport whilst the other two starports that have tech labs in them can focus on Banshees or mainly Vikings until I feel confident enough to start making Banshees again. I've also got the cloak ability but I want to build up a bit of the uh, energy on that before I start using that but I'm pretty sure he hasn't got anything to stop me from uh, getting away with cloak apart from obviously the couple of scans that he has available which is why he's been saving his energy by the looks of it rather than uh, spending it. He's really screwed for the Thespian gas and he's got way too many minerals so this is where he's stuck because he wants to start massing um, anti-air obviously but he can't mass that much because he hasn't got enough mineral uh, Thespian gas whereas I do because I got this expansion the other reason obviously for another expansion again and again and again is because of these refineries you want expansions not so much for the minerals but for the extra extra gas because you hit a point where the natural gas that you have from your main just isn't enough so um, we can see more banshees coming out I need to start putting down some supply depots I always get stuck with this as a Terran player basically I quite often forget to put down supply depots so I've unfortunately had to use 50 energy there to um, boost up that supply depot that gives it another 8 um, supply basically if you use the um, cooldown extra supplies ability from the orbital command. Now I definitely outmask him here so he's going to have to retreat here. This gives me even more advantage because he's on the run and he can't do anything to me. And I'm pretty sure he still doesn't even know about that expansion so he's going to be thinking something's up here. Now I'm starting to use the cloak because I'm pretty sure I can get away with it. He has still got the scanner sweeps he can use but he's going to wait until I get into a better position by the looks of it. He's lost quite a lot already, so this is pretty much looking very bad for him. Now, because of that expansion, I've still got quite a lot of resources, and I still need to build more supply depots. So he's going for an attack now with his siege tank, since they are useless in his main, if you call that a main, an expansion, whatever the hell you want to call it. Just have to retreat these banshees here, decloak them, because he can see them anyway, so why waste the energy? Here we can see the siege tanks are trying to get up here. They're bugging up, he's concentrating too much on his main whilst not concentrating on these siege tanks and he's going to lose all of them basically without basically being able to get any sort of justice or revenge with them. So as we can see, air was definitely the best solution there to go against um, the siege tanks that he had. He teched up the siege tanks, it was good. But I bet he didn't call, expect me to lift up all my buildings and try and take over his base. That's where he got caught out and that's where the siege tanks weren't so useful. Unless he may be came back to try and kill me with the siege tanks but I guess he wanted to secure his own base and he panicked. I'm pretty sure he hasn't been in this situation before and neither have I to be honest. This is like first time I play this. I'm not very good with Terran. I still need to practice a hell of a lot with Terran before I can really say um, I'm a confident Terran player. But I hope you enjoyed this game. I thought it was quite fun. Uh, yeah. There should be more games like this, to be honest, rather than the whole sit in your base for 20 minutes and then lose within a few seconds because of one slight mistake. That's pretty much the way that StarCraft 2 goes quite a lot of the time. But if we can have more games like this, everybody's happy. So, thank you very much for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, rate and comment. Bye-bye.